Assalamu alaikum viewers please like share and subscribe this channel links of pdf files used in this video are given in description so today's lecture is about estimation of chlorides by argentometric titration and in this particular titration we will follow mohr's method so now we will learn how to carry out the argentometric titration and in this titration we will titrate chloride with silver nitrate so the question of this titration is get to determine the amount per liter of potassium chloride in a given sample solution volumetrically you are provided with 0.025 molar silver nitrate as standard solution so in this particular titration kcl or potassium chloride is our analyte whereas 0.025 molar silver nitrate is used as standard solution so why these titrations are called as argentometric titrations so those titrations in which silver nitrate is used as titrant is called as argentometric titrations the argentum word is a greek word for silver so that is why the name comes which is argentometric titration uh, there are various ways of finding chloride by silver nitrate but in this particular titration we will use the mohr's method for estimation and what is the mohr's method basically this titration is a precipitation titration in which precipitates are formed so silver nitrate is used not only as titrant but it is also used as precipitating agent and it will precipitate chloride ions so why we are doing by mohr's method because we are using k2cro4 as an indicator of this titration now the end point of this titration is brick red ppts and these brick red precipitates indicates that the reaction has been completed now the brick red precipitates are formed actually by the formation of a silver chromate complex which is brick red in color so this is the basic theory of this titration now next we will see how to carry out or what is the procedure of this titration so as silver nitrate is a precipitating agent so we will take the silver nitrate as titrant and will tip will be taken in the burette whereas in the flask we will add 10 ml of sample solution and a few drops 2 to 3 drops of K2CRO4 as indicator. So as we add indicator in the solution, the whole solution turns yellow in color due to the color of K2CRO4. Now what will happen that silver nitrate uh, will be poured down into this flask and silver chloride PPTs are formed. Now one question arises here that if silver chloride PPTs are formed down in the flask then why we need to add K2CRO4 as indicator because we can stop the titration right away when there is no further silver chloride precipitation and we can say that the action is completed. But then why we are adding K2CRO4? The reason is that if you see closely here that if we not add indicator here then definitely the precipitates are formed of silver chloride and these are white in color but the one problem is that these precipitates are not too much thick these are very cloudy precipitates and uh, we don't know where the reaction has stopped or where the precipitation has been stopped so in order to make this effect what we are doing here we are adding potassium chromate as indicator so now we have reached into stage 2 and now we are seeing that as we have added silver nitrate all the cloudy precipitates have been formed and next drop of silver nitrate will definitely react with K2CRO4 to form the brick red PPTs now we are seeing here at this point that the slightly color has turned into red this is because now the chloride ions have very become less in quantity in the flask and now silver has started to react with K2CRO4 to form silver chromate complex. 
Now in the presence of KCl the first preference of silver nitrate is to form silver chloride PPTs but when all the simple uh, silver chloride PPTs have been formed now the next drop of silver nitrate will react with K2CrO4 to form silver chromate complex these complexes uh, brick red in color so we are seeing here that we are now shifting to from stage 2 to stage 3 and finally the brick red color of ppts appear which means that now all the silver chloride has been deposited and has been precipitated now the silver has started to react with k2cro4 to form silver chromate complex which is the color of brick red ppts and this is indication of the end point of this titration now one question may arise that in the presence of KCl why K2CRO4 has reacted later uh, with silver nitrate as compared to KCl. So the reason is that KCl the charges are single positive single negative whereas in K2CRO4 the separation is difficult as compared to potassium chloride. So chloride ion is freely available and is readily able to move fast so silver will definitely make first complex with chloride but K2CRO4 the charges are double as compared to KCl and moreover the chromate is difficult to move so that is why the first preference of silver will be to react with chloride to form silver chloride and later when all the silver chloride has been formed then the silver nitrate will react with K2CRO4 to form the silver chromate complex which is brick red in color and which is the end point of this titration. There are very simple chemical equations of this titration. So here is silver nitrate which is taken in the burette whereas KCl is taken in the flask. So they first react together to form silver chloride precipitates plus KNO3. Now after all the silver chloride has been precipitated next the silver nitrate will react with k2cro4 which is the indicator of this titration to form silver chromate complex ppts and these ppts are brick red in color and this is the indication that the reaction has been completed and we have reached end point of this titration plus 2 kn3 is formed so these are the two balanced chemical equations of this titration Next we will record observations and calculations so we will take three readings as first reading is from 0 to 10, second is from 10 to 20 and third is from 20 to 30. So we get value of 10 ml each time so in it means the mean volume of silver nitrate used in this titration is 10 ml. Now on one side definitely we will write silver nitrate whereas other side we will write KCl. So again we will use the molarity formula which is M1V1 over N1 is equal to M2V2 over N2. So silver nitrate um, molarity or M1 is given in the, titrate, um, in the question which is 0 0.025. 10 ml is the burette reading of this titration and we have taken the concordant volume of three readings. M2 we want to German and 10 ml is the volume of sample solution of KCl which we have taken in the flask. So if we rearrange this equation, so M2 is like this and we get final answer of 0 0.025 molar solution, uh, molarity of this solution. So in order to determine amount per liter of just chlorides, we will multiply this molarity answer with 35.5 which is the atomic mass of chloride. So we get the value of 0 0.88 grams per liter. And in order to find the amount per liter of KCl, we will multiply this molarity with the formula weight of KCl which is 74.5 so we get the value of 1.86 gram per liter so the result of this titration is that the given sample solution contains actually 1.8 gram per liter of KCl so this was the titration or estimation of chloride ions by Mohr's method by using argentometry or by using silver nitrate as titrate. I hope you have well understood this lecture but if still you have questions in your mind you can ask those queries in the comment section of this video. I will respond to your queries as soon as possible. Okay thank you. Allah Hafiz.